Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Railify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. Like, subscribe, share, help me grow this channel. Let's do that right off the bat because what you are watching right now is harmful content. Maybe I should have a show called Harmful Content. I don't know. But what I do know is that YouTube will never monetize this channel ever because I cover stories like this a physical education or a phys ed or a PE teacher, you know, gym teacher, um, had sex with a student. They don't like that. So at Third Railify is the place to go on X, YouTube, and Rumble, but especially Rumble. I'm not long for this YouTube world. So, um, you know, that's, that's the place where I'll eventually be. Um, married, phys ed teacher. Kayla Braley's hysterical six-word response as 30-year-old was confronted by police over accusations she had sex with her teenage student. There seems to be a lot of these stories, you know? And they usually start out just like this. A married teacher accused of sexually abusing a student. They start out just like that. Always married, it seems. Always with kids, it seems, with the, with the house, the car, the career, the everything. And they're just like, oh, my God, what is that? A child's penis? I think I'll have some. The small little penis with a small little coin purse is worth my career and my loved ones. I don't mind going to jail for this little penis. It's the weirdest thing. I don't understand it. So a married teacher accused of sexually abusing a student allegedly said, and the, this is the, the six word hysterical response. She said, I'm going to jail, aren't I? That is kind of funny. Yes, yes, sweetheart, you're going to jail. When detectives arrived at the school to speak to her, the court has heard. So she, she was at school doing her thing, and then the police walk in. She looks over, sees the police. She's like, oh, I'm going to jail, aren't I? She, the jig was up. Kayla Lee Braley. 30 years old, was arrested on Tuesday after allegedly sexually abusing a 17-year-old boy she taught at Lernia High School in Sydney's southwest uh, on several occasions in July. She's been charged with sexual touching, sexual intercourse with a person under her care, and aggravated sexual assault, and uh, she's been granted bail under strict conditions, which include residing with her parents. The allegations, which were outlined in police facts obtained by Daily, uh, the Daily Telegraph and referred to in court, claim the situation unfolded when the boy and Braley began chatting after he added her on Snapchat in early July. This woman also got into the kid's Snapchat. What the hell is it about Snapchat? All of these cases, and I've done a lot of these videos. It all seems to be Snapchat. Snapchat leads to Instagram. Instagram leads to them having sex in the back of a car or in the kid's bed or in the woman's bed when the husband is away or just whatever. But it, it starts with Snapchat. I'm at the point of saying kids don't get Snapchat anymore. According to the documents, the conversation was initially general chit chat but allegedly turned sexual with Braley sending nude photos and videos of her masturbating and receiving pictures and videos from the boy in return. General conversation is always going to turn sexual between a man and a woman. Very rarely. I mean, it, um, truly platonic relationships between men and women can happen. Of course they can. You'd be stupid to think that they're not. But I think they're, I think they're rare. I don't think that they exist. Sexy, sexy talk is always going to happen, especially when somebody has the motives to make it happen. Like this teacher obviously wanted to, to get it on with, with the boy. In this particular instance, the boy is 17 years old. 17. I mean, I mean, people went off to fight for their country in World War II, World War I at 17 years old. OK, so, I mean, you're nearly an adult. You're cl close. You're pretty darn close. So, I mean, are they a victim technically under the 
color of law, yes, they are a victim, but I mean, they're, I don't know, they're, prob they're probably fine with it. But like, man, teachers got to stop with the, with the kids. Police will allege Rayleigh, who only married 11 months ago. Good God, that, that's a thing that always happens. It's shocking. These women are like newlyweds. They're barely out of their wedding dress before they're sucking the dick of a kid. Like this poor husband. What is this husband saying? Like what is this husband doing? I am I am bowled over by that. That to me is crazy. Only married 11 months ago. Invited the boy to her west. What the hell is this town's name? Wall Wallungong home in mid July where they kissed and she performed a sex act upon him, upon his quivering member. At one stage, a friend who accompanied the boy to the house allegedly walked in on them, according to documents. The fact that uh, the boy brought a friend there, and then the, the teacher was like, oh, no, it's fine. You just stay there. I'm just going to slurp up his cum. I mean, that's, that's a lot of audacity. That's crazy to me. It's so brazen. A week later, while working, Braley allegedly asked the boy to meet, and he uh, and he wagged the school. Skip school, I suggest. You know the Australian slang is kind of funny. To meet her at a secluded location near the school, where they had sex in the back of a car. <laughs> oh my goodness! You do enough of these videos, they begin to blur together. There's. At least half of them, they're doing it in a car. The lunch lady shagged that kid in the car. According to the documents, she then allegedly drove to a chemist, a uh, pharmacy, and bought the morning after pill. Sure, because he filled her up a buttercup. After that, the pair allegedly stopped communicating until Braley contacted him, accusing him of telling others about their sexual encounters, which he denied. Almost two weeks later, police arrived at Lernia High School on Tuesday to speak to Braley, who allegedly became hysterical when confronted by detectives about the accusations because there's something to be said about women and accountability. Not all women. Not, not the women watching this video or who are a part of this community or channel, but other women. There's, there's a handful of funny memes about there where where it's like a woman who's all like on a stretcher and she's all like, ah, and it's like this woman was introduced to accountability. According to the document, she allegedly said, I am going to jail, aren't I? I'm going to lose my family, my husband, my job. See, that's the shit that I'm talking about. You have all of this stuff. You have the husband, the house, the family, the kids, the car, the career. You have everything. Congratulations. You basically succeeded in life you you have like a good life and you decided that uh you know a, a, a child i mean again in this case it's a 17 year old but still less than 18 you decided that was worth it this lady just got married 11 months prior i'm gonna lose my husband that i cheated on yeah no shit yeah no shit Oh my God, he's going to be really mad at me. I cheated on him with a child. Yeah, no shit. You maybe, I don't know, deserve to lose him. I'm going to lose my job. Yeah, you banged a, a student, a child. You deserve to lose your job and your family. Like, it's like accountability. It's just, oh my God. Oh. When interviewed by police, the boy said he felt he had to send intimate images to Braley to keep her happy according to documents. So he felt like because she was in a position of authority over him, he had to do it. I mean, I get it. There's a, there's a, you know, the left will talk about like a power dynamic of power imbalance. And there is some truth to it when, when you're 17 or 14, 15, 16, 17, whatever. Even sometimes when you're a grown adult, a grown woman, and you have a boss, you, th you feel like there's a power imbalance and that you, you're, you have to do it. Like, I mean, this, 
this stuff can can wear on people. So yeah, maybe maybe she's really pretty, and maybe us as grown ups would be like, oh yeah, I want her to be you know doing me in the back of a car. But this kid maybe didn't. After her arrest, Rayleigh spent the night in Amber Laurel Correctional Center before facing Liverpool local court on Wednesday. The prosecution told the court the case against Rayleigh was strong as she made admissions and evidence had been obtained from her and the alleged victim's phones. The court also heard that Braley admitted to police that she had spoken to two other students on social media apps. So this one boy probably wasn't just one boy. She was probably uh, either engaging in these activities with other boys or seeking out other boys to then do these activities. But, I don't want to lose my husband. You mean the one that you just married 11 months ago, but here you are fucking trying to fuck young boys. Good God. I hope he divorces you so fast. Magistrate, Imad Abdul Karim granted Bailey, who also goes by her married name, Riza, a bail under strict conditions, including she must stay at her parents' house and only leave home if accompanied by one of her parents. That would be embarrassing, don't you think? That alone would be horribly embarrassing. She must also surrender her passport, abide by a curfew, and not go near the school. Braley had been working for the New South Wales Department of Education since October 2017 after completing a bachelor's degree in physical and health education at the University of this stupid name here, Wall Long Long. Well, Long Gong, holy cow. The 30-year-old became engaged to her partner in December 2021 and tied the knot in September last year. Oh, that's so nice and romantic. Too bad she decided to bang a kid. She celebrated her hen's party, her bachelorette, in Bali with her friends and family, enjoying time at the popular Finns Beach Club with several snaps shared to social media. Too bad she doesn't actually love her husband or she, she, she wouldn't have the need for, for a young boy's come inside of her. She also appeared on uh, Channel 7's quiz show, The 1% Club, earlier this year. Oh my goodness, she had all the life going for her and she just threw it all away. The education department confirmed that the teacher had been suspended without pay and support is being provided to staff and students at the school. October 2nd is uh, the next time this is before court. So who who knows? Maybe maybe if she's already if she signed a plea deal, if she hasn't entered the plea deal officially yet, then that's what she'll likely do. If not, she signed a plea deal. But if she hasn't officially entered it into court, that's what she will do on October 2nd. Likely, uh, if she did, it might just be up for sentencing or finding a date for sentencing. But anyways, that's that. Uh, Married, uh, just married, just barely out of her wedding dress, married PE teacher. PE is physical education or phys ed. Um, Kayla Bailey's um, busted over banging her, uh, her student. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you for watching this hate content, this harmful content, this not monetizable piece of news. Uh, so follow me at Third Rail Fight on Rumble. Give it a chance. It's, it's a pretty good app, man. It's not some right-wing crazy app, if that's what you're worried about. It's, it's YouTube, but not gay. Anyways, again, I love you all, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace. <laughs>